Welcome to today's edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is a 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon brought to us by Gnarly Head. It is 15% alcohol, which with help of a couple of months in a bourbon barrel. It comes to us from the Lodi region of California, which is located within the United States. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. So wine, what do you taste like? This is quite a jammy taste. It's not an overly sugar jammy taste, but it definitely does t remind me of jam, jelly for most Americans. But I say jam because I like just like any, any excuse to use the word jam. Like that's my jam, jammy jam, jam jam, jam, not jelly. But I know you're wondering, how the heck is this wine 15%? Most wines top off at 14.5. Due to the bourbon barrels that it's aged in, the bourbon barrels impart the mild, subtle smokiness that's definitely in there. But wow, this brown sugar is really coming through because I'm really starting to taste it now. Yeah, and I feel that's where I'm getting the jamminess from. While I refresh my glass, let me tell you a little bit about the area that this is from and also Gnarly Head. The Lodi region is a very popular region for wine. It's kind of like Greenbelt area of California where it's just great to grow anything. And one of the best things you could grow up here, I feel, it's wine. Why not? If you're going to grow anything, corn, wah, peas, nobody needs it, potatoes, maybe someone needs vodka. But uh, grapes, grapes are good. Grapes are great, especially old vines. They kind of grow in these kind of like crooked out kind of way, crunked out kind of way, I guess. They look kind of, uh, yeah, crooked and mangled, kind of gnarly, if one might say. These guys did. It's, it's a pretty smooth wine, jammy taste, strong, and also a bit smoky. What can go with this? Hmm, I wonder. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. To pair with this Cabernet Sauvignon, I chose a Japanese-style chicken curry. I incorporated onions and tomatoes, and it's over a bed of plain white rice. Don't want anything getting in the way of that curry goodness. If you've ever been to Japan, you know about Coco's curry, and you don't want anything getting between you and that curry, curry goodness. So wine, where do you fall on the grape list? Well, the jamminess of it, which is normally a negative for me, is actually a positive in this. I guess it's the bourboniness of it, the fact that the jamminess is imparted by the brown sugar uh, taste that makes it work for me, as far as this Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the smokiness also is, I mean, who doesn't like smoke in there? Anything you have, smokiness imparts greatness to everything. So, uh, right now on the grape list, this is number 12. So, hold on. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. 